And whoever came down on him is probably long dead and eaten. I actually shouldn't summon them right now. Should wait until a fight to summon them. So they get that 30% boost. Yeah. They do look a bit small for that. Then again, this game isn't great on scale. turret stuff, huh? way probably just a little bit of loot over here well there goes a big chunk of my dudes hey guys come here so i can summon them all fresh in the next fight Enjoy that 30% boost. Oh yeah, they're just mowing down the Tyranids. It's weird. Well, not weird. It's actually nice, but... Death is salvation. Wasn't expecting you to be this effective. Your termination is mandatory. Meet the Tyranid hordes with a horde of our own. Why not? Ah, something over here I can turn on. Accessing the sacred mechanism now. Ah, it turned off the gas. It's like I was wondering what it was doing. Ah, there he is. Okay, I can't even hit that dude right now. I think he's trapped in this, in this, uh, thing. Because he can't get to me and I can't get to him. Oh, now he's finally dead. Good. Okay. Can I turn those, those on? Definitely blessed Adeptus Mechanicus Automata. This warrants an inquiry. Seriously though, can I turn those on? Summary, try to maintain the Xenos threat currently infesting Void Port. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is that? 1018, as per your orders. Operation unsuccessful. Bioscanners failed to show the large numbers of organisms hiding in the service tunnels of the port. Uh, loss is significant. 87.4% of constructs. Human retinue eliminated. Well, that sucks. This is interesting. This retinue was working for a techno-archaeologist. It could be the savant we seek. I presume the contingent was trying to eradicate the local tyrannid threat. Quite the contrary. They were trying to gain control of the Xenos population. I keep an open mind, but even I find that idea hard to swallow. On another note... The Not the first time the Mechanicus have tried it. Tags for their home base. Where is it? We have no information as yet. The tech priest is working on it. I'm attempting to placate this ancient machine. Approaching the data vault has failed. You need to power up the auxiliary mainframe. Send me the coordinates to that mainframe. Oh yeah, we gotta go all the way around. First, let's see what's over here. 
and kill it. Execution protocol initiated. Good God. <laughs> I just love watching all of them pounce on these bastards. It's hilarious. Unnecessary yep, tear them apart. See the path they want me to take. I want to go this way first. Nope. It's not working out well for the zoanthrope. I want as many of these things as I can get right now. Kind of makes me wonder what the other perks are. In fact, I can actually look that up, can't I? Well, not now, apparently. Like, see what heroic deeds I, ne I need to unlock some of the others. Your actions were illogical. Hormigans. Don't need them. Oh, we got a crowd up here, though. God damn. Okay, have the 30% boost. Kill them all. I am the Emperor's wrath. That did the trick. Nothing down there. Good God, you guys really want me to go roundabout, don't you? That thing doesn't stand a chance in hell. <laughs> For the Emperor. I like how they're pouncing on each other. The Hormigans are pouncing and then there's a counter jump by my dudes. It's like... It's a very mobile battle. Nope. No, thank you, Raveners. Uh, I do feel like this game is, to me, is worth it. Uh, I don't know how many hours it's going to give me in the end. So far, we're still in the first chapter of the story, and we've been playing... God, what is it? Six, seven hours so far? And there's two more chapters to go. And on top of that, you're essentially going to get all the content from Martyr, except for the other classes as well. Well, and the main story campaign. So yeah, in the end, you're, yeah, it's definitely going to give you your money's worth, I think. If you enjoy the gameplay, at least. So, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Accessing the sacred mechanism now. it was worth it for me. Oh, and I just died from the acid, didn't I? Well, that sucked. <laughs> Well, let's get my dudes out here to murder. Your actions were lost. Yeah, I do remember the campaign in Martyr being super long. Your 
Oh yeah, look at all those dudes. They're all gonna die right now. I'm working on it. In case you hadn't noticed, I've run into some resistance. <laughs> the altercation has definitely been noticed and recorded for potential post mortem evaluation. Gee, thanks, Omicron. Let's see. Yeah, I easily put a cup like a hundred hours or more in the first game. I could see this one being pretty close. And that's not counting multiplayer or anything cuz you know I'm not a huge fan of multiplayer in this game. It's all right, but it's not great for me, especially since uh like I like I've mentioned before, the multiplayer in Martyr and this from what I understand is buggy as hell. Talking to me. See what now? There's an incoming transmission. An attempt to communicate. Good. My target must be getting nervous. You have entered research zone 17. Trespassing is strictly prohibited. You must leave immediately. You must be the savant. I am an agent of the Holy Ordos, and I have questions for you. I am the answer to the machine guard, Inquisitor. The work I'm doing here is of paramount importance. We must be prepared for the return of the High Fleet. This is treachery, and you will pay for your insolence. I don't think so. But I hope you don't mind participating in a little experiment first. Yeah, I'd be a little concerned in that case, then, if you're looking to play co-op. Because, yeah, as Starhorse Edge, uh, if you want to play any of the story motions, uh, motions, missions, uh, in both Martyr and this, uh, it's solo only. You can't play it with other people. You can only play the side missions and the random missions. And some of the bugs I've heard about with the co-op right now are the person who's invited into the, like, not everybody in the party ends up getting experience is one of the big ones. And another one is, is that it's super laggy. Now, not everybody's having those problems, but a significant portion of the players are the void port defense systems have been activated that treacherous savant has control over the entire system he's trying to stop me at least you don't need any more proof that you are on the right track oh, look at all these tyrannids But yeah, unfortunately, the vast majority of the complaints I hear about this game are to do with the multiplayer. So yeah, sorry about that. Oh, that, that turret went down fast. Oh look, rippers. Initiating energy canticles. Accessing the sacred mechanism now. Get to it. Protect the turret. Don't need to, but protect it anyway. Well, there are some much larger drop pods. I really love this gun. Yeah, 
Anybody up? There he is. <laughs> yep, and also remember that one of the chapters from this game can from prophecy can only be played with the tech adept well it's time to resummon everybody so they can get that attack boost whoa guys get him off me Oh, Jesus. Well, he died. Oh, I was saying that with the campaign for... Um, just on the topic of the campaign. Bear in mind that the... the God, you can't play all the chapters in this game with all the classes. The first chapter is only for the Tech Adept. So, like, your Crusader wouldn't be able to play the chapter we're on right now. Your termination is mandatory. Yeah, I figured I'd throw that out there because that's a question I've... Execution protocol you know, initiated. I've seen a lot on the Steam forums. I've seen it. People have asked me about it on YouTube already. So, yeah. So, yeah, I've heard the question a lot. So, figured I'd just let you know, just in case. <laughs> you are welcome. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, yes, I'm planning on putting up more Fantasy General today. Uh, X3105, as well as an episode of Mechanicus today. And they are billions. Examination of the designated Fabricatus excavation site. We have initiated the alpha phase of the excavation protocols in zone A3 theta on FLZ672, and even the earliest findings seem to have proof seem to prove that the current Xenorite theories concerning the Fabricatus race might be fundamentally mistaken. These ruins are clearly enigmas. Preliminary scans indicate that the structures were erected millions of years ago, but the mysterious material components continue to defy explanation as how any artificial material could have survived for eons. Our probes have produced clear, unclear results, and the function of these ruins is still shrouded in mystery. I should also add that I find these ruins profoundly strange. Missing segment. My current theory poses the possibility that these structures used to be colossal machines rather than simple buildings as the dominant Xenorite theory stipulates. Certain symbols and etchings on the metallic surfaces remind me of the artifacts we found during our, my first Xenorite expedition into the heart of the void in the Theta Cluster, where my expedition perished by the metal cocoons of unidentified Xenos origin. They bore very similar symbols, throbbing like living hearts and drifting among the debris of the asteroid field. I will update my log as the excavation progresses. Praise the Omnissiah. <laughs> 